Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and this is it. Final bracket time. Arizona State and Syracuse wrapped up about two hours ago, and it's time. So Virginia, sticking with Virginia, sticking with Creighton. I'm going away from my Davidson pick. Um, took a little bit deeper look into it, and Kentucky's length. Um, I, I went back and watched a little Davidson footage, um, and they... They uh, they never had to face much length uh, from anybody they played since they were out of conference, um, especially for their guards. Um, so I'm going with Kentucky. It's a slight change. It's nothing too special. Uh, it's a matter of 10 points. Uh, we're still sticking with Loyola, Illinois, and Tennessee. I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Nevada now. I'm gonna go with Nevada. Um, more I looked into the Martin Twins, I, I I think they get it done against Texas. Um, it's a tough one. It's a toss-up, but I do like them to get it done. Moving on to the bottom here, we've got Xavier and Missouri still. Holding chalk there. Still like Ohio State and the Zags. I know San Diego State's become extremely popular as the upset pick, but I, but I like Ohio State to get it done. Houston, San Diego State becoming popular too. They've got some good odds value. Um... If, you're, if you do a bracket that way, they've got some nice odds value. I think Houston's minus four. Uh, so some decent odds value there. Uh, moving on to the bottom, Providence and North Carolina still. So most of that all held chalk. Moving on to the to the east region, we still got Villanova facing off against Va Tech. West Virginia facing off against Marshall, Florida, and Texas Tech. And uh, Arkansas and Purdue. So no real changes there. Um, but, uh, the change is a little bit of change coming down here. So Kansas beating Penn, pretty close spread on that, about 14 points. So, uh, interesting from a better's perspective on taking Kansas there. Um, I, I think Kansas covers the spread, beats them by around 20. Uh, I like the hall still. Uh, and then here we go with the full upset still, New Mexico and uh, College of Charleston. Those games are played Friday. I'll probably end up parlaying the money line of New Mexico State and College of Charleston, depending on, on what it is exactly. I haven't looked. Um, but I'll probably parlay those two money lines, uh, at least put $10 on it or something like that. Should pay out decently. I am going with TCU. I'm going with the Horn Frogs to beat Cuse. I didn't necessarily like what I saw from Cuse. I got the crappy Arizona State that I didn't want to see, and so luckily they're out, and I don't have to worry about taking them to the Sweet 16. Speaking of the Sweet 16, that's the part of the bracket we are on to now. Virginia and Arizona holding all chalk here in the uh, in the South region with uh, top four seeds advancing for me. Down to the bottom of the bracket, the West Division, uh, Xavier and Ohio State. Michigan and North Carolina holding pretty pat there. Nothing nothing changing. Uh, still have Villanova, West Virginia, Texas Tech, and Purdue. Then in the Midwest region, we've got Kansas, New Mexico State, and now we have Michigan State facing off against Duke. Going away from Arizona State, obviously, because they're no longer here. Uh, so we have, uh, we have generally the state pat from the beginning Elite Eight. Going Arizona, and now I'm going to be going Tennessee, I believe. Um, I, I like Mc... You know what? Nope. We're staying in Cincinnati. Um, I've had a lot of people try to talk me into Tennessee. I still really like Cincinnati, and I'm going to stay with my gut play, which is Cincinnati. Be Villanova and Texas Tech over here while we have this pulled up in the east. Coming down to the bottom half of the bracket, we still got Xavier. We still got Michigan. We still got Kansas, and we still got Duke. So holding Pat there. And uh, we'll go back up to get to our final four. And that's where it really stays, Pat, Arizona, Villanova. I've been strong in my decision uh, with Arizona, Michigan, Villanova, Duke. And uh, still Villanova, Arizona with Villanova winning 82-77. to That's been the score we've had the whole time. Villanova cuts down the nets. And that is the final bracket. That's what I have submitted to all of my places that I need to submit tonight uh, or tomorrow uh, before tip. And so that is the bracket I have submitted. Um, I do really like the bracket, but easily can be busted in multiple spots really quickly, especially uh, with Nova's woes against 8 and 9 seats and 7, 10, 7 through 10 seats, I guess. Uh, that encompasses 8 through 9 as well. 
all sorts of things get screwed up, but that's the, that's the beauty of March Madness. Um, so hopefully we do it. I, I did not get to do another randomized uh, bracket. Maybe we'll get a chance to do it in the morning, and I'll upload it after the fact the tournament has already started, but we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.